Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will be teaching you about assignment operators in Python. So what are assignment operators? Basically, assignment operators are used to assign values to variables. And these are the examples of assignment operators which are equals, plus equals, minus equals, multiplication equals, divide equals, modulus equals, floor division equals, and exponentiation equals. Let's just quickly work out on them. First of all, I will create a variable. So variable x equals 5. And now I will work out on the, all these examples one by one. So x plus equals 3. So what does this expression mean? Basically, this means something like this. So x equals x plus 3. So this whole expression means x equals x plus 3 and the same goes on with x minus equals or x multiplication equals and carry on okay so i will just print out x so print x and just tap out here so my code should run okay tap see the value 8 has been returned and the reason is what is happening here i have a variable x which has a value 5 so x plus equals 3 which means x equals x plus 3 so 5 plus 3 becomes 8 and hence there towards the output okay so moving forward i will do each and every example in this video so x minus equals 3 means x equals a x minus 3 and copy paste them all out because i want to perform each and every example so multiplication same goes for division division and modulus key modulus and flow division See, this is a very easy topic but trust me it is quite important it is easy but also important okay so these are all my assignment operators you can print out all the values by using the print function which I won't be doing in this video because it will take unnecessary time and this is quite an easy topic okay so I will just do some examples so I will print out some values for example if I just want to print out my first value so x plus equals print x and just print out here so run run my code by charm run my code see the value is 8 but what if I do the same thing with other examples? I won't do each and every example because it will take unnecessary time which I don't have. Okay, so let's work out on these examples. I will only do four examples so the rest is all up to you. I have taught you everything in my previous videos. So I believe you won't have any difficulties and this is quite an easy topic but important see the value is 2 so 5 minus 3 becomes 2 so let's carry on with another example and after that i will just wind up this video no so let's just focus on our tricky examples okay so my tricky example so i will carry on with this one flow division so print x and run my code and the answer is 1 because 5 divided by 3 is so the answer will be something like 1.7 or 1.5 something like that but what happens in flow division the output would be returned as the nearest whole number which is 1 so c1 is returned here Okay, thank you very much. This was all for this video. I believe that this video was understandable. Please subscribe. Thank you.